This will be my last video review for a couple months, so I thought why not bring the first season of the classic review series to a close with Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. While not entirely a classic, it is one of the first Fire Emblem games to hit the United States. The game takes place on the continent of Magbell. For 800 years, peace has reigned on this continent with six countries divided amongst themselves. The countries of Rhaenias, Frelia, Jehanna, Rostan, and Grado each built their empires around the power of the Sacred Stones. Sometime along the line, Grado winds up betraying the Kingdom of Rhaenias, who had been caught completely off guard at such an assault as these two countries were once known as allied nations. Rhaenias will fall, that much is certain, but not before King Fado's son, Prince Ephraim, goes off to head a direct assault on Grado's empire and as such goes missing. This is where the game finally begins. The Sacred Stones, all things aside, is a turn-based, checkerboard, RPG-styled game. Your opponent takes a shot at you, then you take one at him, and vice versa. Take caution, however. This isn't your everyday RPG. When an ally of yours falls, they don't come back. At all. When you locate a building, make sure you enter, as these buildings can offer hints on how to conquer the stage faster or with less casualties on your side. Blue units on the battlefield are your allies, and red units are your enemy. One last note I'd like to make on the basics of the game are weapon types. Lances are strong against swords, axes are great against lances, and swords are great against axes. You can make sure if you're using the right unit and weapon in a battle by checking the damage icon just before the battle. To end the stage on Fire Emblem, you have to defeat the boss leader of the area, just like any other game. Fire Emblem is an excellent RPG game and one that I'm fond of. I recently purchased Fire Emblem Awakening for the 3DS and I can't wait to play it, but for now this episode was well worth the time it took in making it. I'll be spending less time doing video reviews and more time on game vlogging. My playthrough of Mega Man X will be uploading now, and I'll be working on a film for my YouTube channel. This isn't the end in terms of my game reviews, it's just a break so I can take higher quality stuff. That's all YouTube, and see you next week when I upload the first part of the Mega Man X playthrough.